Uh, hello guys, today we're going to talk about a serious subject. We're going to talk about acupuncture for addiction. So a little history on the subject. Acupuncture was used for anesthesia for a procedure to help the addict. When they inserted the filaments, they found that the patient's uh, side effects went away and they rescheduled the surgery and the same thing happened. So they put two and two together and formed AccuDetox. Dr. Michael O. Smith brought it to the Bronx in the 70s and trained people to use the same procedure and the effects were physically tangible in the sense that women who were addicted to crack uh, were able to keep the birth weight of their children higher. That was a, a tangible effect of the procedure, so it does work. So why do we do acupuncture for addiction? Um, initially, we were doing it to treat the side effects of withdrawal. So over time and consistency, 10 years, 20 years down the road, there's actually studies that show that acupuncture can actually help with relapse and avoiding the reuse or the reinstitutionalization of an addict. Um, so that's uh, significant. Okay, so how does acupuncture work? We introduce the filaments into the ear. The body thinks it's injured. It releases endorphins. The endorphins put the patient into a uh, parasympathetic state, which is a, race mo a rest mode, and out of the sympathetic fright-flight response. In this state, we know that the mind can re-regulate itself and rewrite or unlearn the craving behavior that drives addicts to use all the time. One aspect to addiction is pain. Uh, Time Magazine just released an article stating that four out of five uh, people who use heroin actually started with pain pill prescriptions. And that's only opiates. We're not even incorporating benzos like Xanax and things of that nature. So the World Health Organization states that acupuncture is as effective as morphine, which is an opiate, without the downside of addiction. Now, there's other aspects of pain. There's emotional pain. And I believe that everybody doesn't wake up one day and decide that they're going to be an addict. There's a long road that brings them there. So we have to acknowledge the fact that there is a history of sexual, physical abuse and neglect. And the environment is really what drives the addict to become an addict. Okay, so a word on treatment. The last place you want to be is in treatment. So let's talk about the phases. You have inpatient, acute uh, withdrawal phase detox where the patient is getting off the substance and is uh, in physical distress. You have 30, 60, 90 day rehab where the patient learns to cope with uh, the condition. And then you have outpatient where the patient uh, starts to reassimilate into society. And I believe as an acupuncturist that acupuncture fits in all those. But the most important thing is that it belongs three, six months, 12 months down the road when the patient's starting to think about using again. And the final note, I just want to say that prevention is key, and a lot of times we talk about don't do drugs or you go to jail, don't do drugs or you get arrested, but the one thing that I like to emphasize today is that don't do drugs because you will become physically dependent to a substance that will ruin your life. Okay, in closing, I'd like to state that I've been practicing acupuncture for 12 years. Seven of those have been specifically in the drug detox field. Uh, if there's anything I could do for you or your family members to help out, please let me know. Don't forget to subscribe, check out the videos, Follow the information below and follow us on social media.